Maker is a Windows-based, icon-driven software program used on any animal feeding operation with a TMR mixer to manage that feeding. Right now we are looking at the home screen of the program, or the dashboard, which displays four key performance indicators to give you a quick snapshot as to what's going on around the farm. In the top left, we have the days left in stock of ingredients. So you can see if there's any ingredients that are running low on inventory that you should reorder. In the top right, we have operator accuracy. So you can see how each employee is performing on their accuracy of loading and delivering feed. In the bottom left, we have the dry matter intake trends per group. This way you can select a few of your key pens to monitor closely and see how much deviation they have in intakes from day to day. And in the bottom right, we have ingredient deviation percentage so that you can monitor your more expensive ingredients to ensure that they're consistently being loaded from day to day. So if you are going to set up a new farm, it's as simple as starting in the top left and working from left to right. So this first icon that you would enter into is the ingredient list. You would come into here and program each ingredient that you're using on the farm. You would begin by giving it a display name, which can be up to six characters long, and this is so that it can show on the scale head without requiring a scroll to happen. Next, you would enter the dry matter percentage for that ingredient. This way, anytime in the future, if you have a dry matter change, you would just come in here and update that new dry matter percentage and everything would automatically adjust for you. You can see down below we have a dry matter percent change log displaying the last seven changes that have been entered and the date that they were changed so that you can quickly see when those changes are occurring and if you've been having a lot of volatility that you should dial in. Down below we also have the pricing for that ingredient. This way you can enter how much you're paying for that ingredient and that way your reports will automatically show what your true feed costs are based on what you're paying for it. Additionally, you have the option to enter a starting inventory for your ingredients so that the program can count down for you and help you keep track of how much stock you have on hand. After you've set up your ingredients, you, the next icon you'll enter into is the rations. This way you can set up each ration that you're feeding on the farm. Again, you will enter a display name, which can be up to six characters long. And then down below, you would just click Add and select each ingredient that's being used in that ration. Next, you can go down through and enter the dry pounds per head that you're feeding. And you can add things such as a timer, which you see down here in the bottom right, so that the mixer will tell the operator to mix for four minutes after completion of loading prior to delivery. After you've set up each of the rations on your farm, the next icon you'll enter into is the pens or the group list. In here, you will program each pen that you are delivering feed to. Again, giving it a display name up to six characters long. Entering in the number of animals in the pen. You can do this either manually or you can synchronize TMR Tracker with a herd management program. Popularly in the United States would be Dairy Comp or PC Dart, for instance. This way, when you move animals in your herd management program, they can automatically move into TMR Tracker for you. Down below, you would apply the ration that this pen is receiving. You can see this pen is receiving the high group ration in feeding period one. You can feed the animals up to nine times per day. And this is just a nice way to be able to split out how the batches are going out to the feed mixer. So for instance, this pen is only being fed once a day, hence only having a ration applied in the first feeding. If I were feeding an AM and PM schedule, so twice a day, I might additionally apply that ration so that I can see it twice a day that it's going out to the mixer. After I've set up the pens, I'm ready to go ahead and start sending information to my feed mixer. So I will come to the send data screen. When I enter into here, I can start in the top left and select which feeding period I want to send information out for. Or I can send everything out to the mixer if I don't plan on coming back to the computer throughout the day. In the center of the screen, we're looking at every pen that I'm going to be setting feed out for. So you have the pen's display name in the left-hand side. You have the number of animals that are in that pen. 
the ration that they're going to be receiving, and then the call weight of pounds that they're going to be receiving. In the, in the furthest right column, you can see that we have a slightly shorter list, and that is the physical number of batches that the mixer is going to be making. So what this means is if you have multiple pens receiving the same ration and their call weights will both fit into the feed mixer, TMR Tracker is going to ask it to combine those pens into the mixer to help make you more efficient with your equipment usage. If we expand this out, you can see how those batches are going to be combining. So for instance, what we're looking at is the first batch we make is going to be this fresh cow ration. And it is going to ask me to deliver that to groups 8, 11, and 7. Next, I'm going to go and mix the high cow ration, and I'm going to deliver to groups 1 and 2. So you can see it's pretty easy to follow along. And for the operator, it's as simple as reading the screen on the scale head for which ingredient they're supposed to be loading, and then the scale head will actually count down as they add that ingredient into the mixer. So it really makes it easy for somebody to jump in and go through the loading and delivery process by simply reading the screen and following along. Once feeding is completed out at the mixer, data has been recorded and it will now start populating back in TMR Tracker. So that's when the reports will begin to show. We've created a quick access list of our most popular reports so that it's really easy to come in here and see some key information quickly. Starting with the dry matter intake report, as this is our most popular, you can see by date, by pen, what ration they received, what the call weight was, what the actual delivered weight was, what that dry weight was based on how you had your dry, matters per, dry matter percentages set, the number of animals that were in the pen that day, your total cost to feed the pen, and then your price per animal. If you've recorded any wayback or refusal feed, it will show that here. And then in our furthest right column, it's taking that dry delivered weight divided by the number of animals in the pen minus any wayback or refusal feed that you recorded to give a dry matter intake per head. You can also see that some of the numbers are going to be color coded as those can jump out at you if they're a significant amount above or below previous day's intakes. If you're using the TMR Tracker Pro Plus version, which is our highest level, you also have the graphing option. So you can simply press the graph button and see the information in a more visually appealing way versus just looking at a grid of numbers. You can also deselect certain lines if you want to clean up the graph to really streamline the information that you're looking at. In all of our reports and graphs, in the bottom left hand corner, you can change the date range that you want to analyze if you'd like to look at more or less information. The ingredient and premix usage is also a very important report as it's giving you the total information of feed used on your farm during the date range you have selected. So right now we're looking at the last 14 days. These are all the ingredients that I have fed during that time frame. It's showing you in actual weight what the call weights were and the loaded weights for those ingredients. It's also showing on a dry matter basis call weights and loaded weights. It's also giving you deviation by pounds and percentage and then the actual planned expense, the actual expense, and then that difference in dollars. So what that error cost was during that time frame. The group delivery time is also used quite a bit because this is giving you the time that the cattle were fed each day. My favorite is actually to look at this in a graphical format because it makes it really easy to see if there was any significant deviation. So when I look at the last two weeks here for group one, I see that they were very consistent. So my feeder is doing a great job out there at getting those cattle fed similarly each day, and there's nothing to worry about. If I do expand this out, I may find that there is some deviation. So for instance, on the 24th, they were way off schedule. So maybe that was when there was an equipment failure or something changed up in the schedule. But this can really help for a manager uh, or a consultant or anybody that's working with the farm to be able to jump in and see if there was a change and why that happened. The operator accuracy is a really nice report to use, especially for employee management. So what this is showing is the loading accuracy and error percentage the delivery accuracy and error percentage, and an overall average. And this breaks it down for each date and each pen that was being fed. 
Some farms have started using this information to pay their employees an incentive or a bonus instead of just an hourly rate. And this can help get the cows fed better uh, and get better performance out of the employee and make the farm more successful overall. One of the most powerful reports in the program is the loading report. This is what I like to call kind of the everything report that's showing all of the data points that are being captured from the scale head. So this is a really nice place to come if you have any sort of um, issue or problem that you want to look into. So for instance, if I know that I had uh, cows way off feed on the 30th, I can come in here and look at the pen that there was an issue with, expand that information out, and really start to dig into what happened. So what this is going to show me is on the 30th, that pen that I want to analyze, it's going to show me each ingredient that was loaded into the mixer and the order that they were put in. It's going to show me the timestamp that each one was put in. The call weight, the call weight and dry weight, the actual loaded weight and the dry loaded weight, deviation in pounds and deviation in percentage, the planned expense, the actual expense, the error in dollars, and then what employee was doing the action that day. So what this can do is really help you to dig in and find out were those ingredients loaded in a normal time span or were they maybe loaded too closely together? Um, was there the appropriate amount of mix time that happened? Um, were they way off target on a certain ingredient and maybe that's why the cows went off feed? Um, and then also just being able to look at this and see you know, what your total cost was for the batch that day. This can be a great training tool with employees as well to show them the importance of their actions with the mixer. If you're running a dairy operation and want to go so far as to incorporate uh, the milk information so that you can look at what your milk sales are versus your feed input costs, you can do that by syncing the program up with a milk metering program or your herd management system if you have the milk info in there, or you can manually enter it in so that you can start looking at some of that information. So the daily dairy summary is a popular area to come to to start looking at that full picture of your farm. And so this has a couple of pages of information that are just going to give you a nice overall summary of what's happening on the farm. So right now what we are looking at is just all of your groups, uh, the number of animals that were in the group, and then a 1, 3, 7, and 15 day average feed intakes. Our next tab gives you the average margin per head, which is my favorite spot in the program to really dig in on your farm. So it's going to give you each group um, that you have programmed in, the number of animals in that group, and then the one day feed costs, milk revenue, and then that profit breakdown. And then also in three days, seven days, and 15 day increments. So that you can really see how your profitability is changing from day to day as far as feed, as far as feed costs go, uh, milk sales go, milk pricing goes, so on and so forth. So there you have it. Uh, this is just another overview of the total list of reports that we have created in the program. And you can also create your own report if there is very specific information you want to look at.